Hey everyone, we have some mail from you lovely folks, so uh, let's open it. Okay, so let's uh, let's open this first one then. Best noises, best noises on YouTube. Oh, like, comment, subscribe for more noises. Okay, oh, we have. Oh, we have a letter. We have a letter. Cool. So, okay. Dear Snipe and Web, this is a thank you gift for all the hours of entertainment from both the streams and the videos. I really appreciate it. I saw someone wearing this shirt. Yeah, there's a shirt in there. Oh. Uh, a shirt and the thought of you guys. Sorry if it's the wrong size. I also got you a copy of... <laughs> of... Dawn of War by C.S. Goto. <laughs> Uh, Excellent. Sorry that it's secondhand. That's absolutely fine. No, that's fine. fine. That's really cool. I have legitimately always wanted to read that. So, um, yeah. Thank you. Thanks for everything. Ever so British. Well, yes. Thank you. Ever so British. Thank you so much. It's. I think there's a dinosaur on it. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna open that up. If it's a dinosaur, I'm assuming that's for you. <laughs> you know what I like? I, I, I like my dinosaurs. You do like your dinosaurs. <laughs> oh, I feel bad for him. So if you're happy and you know it, clap your... Oh. Because oh. they have tiny little hands. Oh, bless you. Thank oh, you. thank you. That's gorgeous. <laughs> Got another one. Got another one. And I get to use my knife. Are, yes. you, are you okay there? I'm fine. You, you, seem, you? you seem to be having troubles with this box. You stupid box. I don't know where did I cut you or kiss you. Ooh. Oh my goodness. This is all nice and wrapped. Oh yes. This, Here we it, go. They're in little, uh, little, little packages. Little parcels. Oh, that's probably C4. Dear Snipe and Web, I hope this letter finds you well and it's, the contents of this box are unharmed during delivery. You will find four wrapped parcels addressed to each of you. I hope you like them and get many years of use out of them. Maybe one day we can meet up for a drink or something similar. If you're ever in my neck of the woods, I'll drop you a message on Discord and I'll come meet you. Sincerely, Bearded Cyborg, Edward Corby. Well, thank, thank you, you very, very much, much Cyborg. Edward. Edward, whatever you want us to call you. <laughs> Mis Either Mr. Or. Mr. Borg. Mr. Borg. Oh, oh my goodness. Yes. It's one of the uh, the 40k uh, little mugs. He was me. literally telling me yesterday that I wasn't allowed to buy any more mugs, so thank you very much, Cyborg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn, that's like a start. Oh my goodness, yeah. that is so Scott, nice. I don't know. I don't know if that gets picked up, but yeah, it says For the Emperor on one side, and it's got a, an Aquila on the other side. Oh no. Thank you very much. That's really it's super cool. rad. I will open mine. I like now. how it's got a big thick base, so I won't knock it over um, while streaming or anything. So that's that's good. Thank that's you. good. <laughs> space wolf. Oh, that's like quite an old school space yeah, wolf logo. Yeah, it's the old well. school. That's cool. One. And it's got oh, that's rad. And it's got the aquila on one side. Oh, that's awesome. Thank <laughs> you. Oh, hey, it's the uh, the shot glasses. <laughs> set of four shot glasses. Hello. We can use that for the Gaff Thorpe drinking game. Yes. <laughs> uh, there's, a, there's a space wolf one that's fitting. Yeah, same same little uh, kind of thing as the other one. That is yeah, so cool. They're really fancy, actually. No, that that's awesome. Thank guess, you. Guess you start drinking more shots. Should start drinking more shots. Should just just drink. Let's just drink, shall we? That's fine. <laughs> oh my! Oh my goodness! <laughs> you got a dog bowl. I got. Fuck off. I got a, I got a ball! A stoneware ball! A space wolf ball! Oh my god! Oh, that is gorgeous! That's my new ramen bowl. My new fancy bowl. Oh my god. Uh, you can pledge your allegiance to the Vilka Fenrika whilst you're well, eat I'm your, eating my ramen! Eat, eat your Cheerios in the morning. Eat Cheerios, yeah! You just be like, yeah, you know what? Ross is pretty cool. He's alright. I mean, I do that every morning anyway, but now I have like a proper. Oh, that's <laughs> rad, dude. Thank you so much! Yeah, thank you very much for that package. That was very thoughtful. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now we have a package that is seemingly mostly wrapped in customs notices. Which, at least, that keeps it together. Yep. Yeah. Oh, right. So there's a little letter. Do you want to read that? Oh. Space pups equals best pups. Keep up the great content, Jeremy. Hi. Heck yeah, Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, yeah, all, all things wrapped up in, uh, in paper. Careful. So. Unless this is just... That one was just paper. What's this Terminator's then? Assault... Oh, okay. So, written on here is Terminator's Assault Command and Devastator. Am I right in thinking these are... Oh, these are epic miniatures. Oh my god! Super, oh, like there's a tiny little tech marine, a tiny oh. little tech marine. I'll t I'll tell you what. When we're done, um, when we're done with this uh, recording, this section, I'll get some close-ups of these because I won't be able to pick those up on the camera normally. Yeah, there's there's like, come on, little dude. 
There's like one of them. The little tiny boys. I've never actually been in the presence of any epic models, you oh, know? There's, there's a, an epic Thunderhawk. Ooh. Oh, wow. No, thank you. Thank I, you. These are so sweet. I've honestly always wanted to paint up some uh, some epic models because there's just something really, really neat about having such tiny little versions of they things that we're used so to seeing small. so big, you know? And that's some little tactical marines. Oh, look, look how tiny they are. They're so small. They are so adorable. Oh. Just... You literally can't see them on this camera, but, but they are so tiny. They are so, so cute. tiny. Oh, this is the Washington, uh, the newspaper in there that it's all wrapped up in. It's the Washington Post, by the way. Cool. Um. So yeah. Uh, oh, that's cool. Um. The world, everything sucks in the world. The world, everything is bad, is what it says. But <laughs> thank you so much for those adorable little miniatures. Yeah, no, thank you very much. That's going to that. be very tricky, <laughs> but very fun to paint. <laughs> Let me just. It's a, it's a bit of a big one. The Grox Box. It is the Grox Box. With a cool Inquisition logo. <laughs> I'm just gonna, you know, put a, go out on a, a limb here and say that this is from uh, a certain person who calls themselves Inquisitor Grox. Really? Just, uh, just gonna you put think? that out there. Is it okay? Okay, I mean that's fine. <laughs> okay. Ugh. Grox mail. Grox mail. Ooh, Grox mail. <laughs> so it's a bit long to read the whole thing, but. Um, they were saying they were originally going to send some um, German food, but then they saw the last episode <laughs> yeah, sorry. where um, where Geister Tans had sent us some, some German food, mm -hmm. and so it kind of ruined their plan, so there is nothing edible in this box. Uh, well, I can eat, like, Argon Well, I mean, you can try. You, okay. you can try. I can eat um, that guy. I don't think you'd be very happy about it. <laughs> to find the stuff, you have to remove pieces of German advertising sheets. There's so many papers! I'm going to put the papers over here. Oh, i got to clean that up later. What is that? What is that? You may have noticed a rolled item held together with cable strips. Yep. Your walls lack proper decoration, except the artworks, and I thought this is worthy to put on your walls. Okay. You have to choose which side you want to look at. Okay, right. Is it... Oh. Oh, wow. Oh. Okay. okay. Okay, stand up, stand up. Uh. Oh, dang. <laughs> Okay. That's like a proper like Games Workshop display thing. Yeah. Oh, you got orcs on oh, the other and there's, side. There's orcs on the other side. Oh god, this is big. That's big. I, I, I don't have the room <laughs> to turn this around with a table in front of us. Okay, yeah. there we go, there we go. There we go. Oh wow. That's really cool. <laughs> That is really cool. Oh, that, we've got to figure out where to put that now. That can go with your uh, Necromunda standy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, this is a chunky book. Oh. Honor oh, Imperialis. Honor oh, Imperialis. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, next item on this is obviously a big book. I hope you, book. hope you haven't read any of the three stories in it, but it contains Aaron Dembski Bowden's story as well as two other stories which you might like. I do not believe I have read any of the no. stories contained in there. No, that looks... Oh, that's cool. Uh, because the only um, <laughs> the only Imperial Guard stuff I've read is the Gaunt's Ghost stuff. Yeah. So I can guarantee that I haven't... Yeah, just looked at it and I haven't read any of those. Nice. So no, thank you very much. Thank you. The Imperial Inf Infantryman's Handbook. <laughs> That is so cool. The brown book is always handy to have with you as a soldier of the, in the 41st millennium. It contains all you need to know to get through your service without being killed by a commissar. Plus there are some pink pages at the end which could be useful if you're having trouble with your PC. Losing weapons or equipment. Any soldier who, whether the, through neglect or deficiency in memory, loses any part of his kit shall be flogged. <laughs> uh, modifying weapons or equipment in unauthorized ways regardless of functionality. Any soldier who modifies his weapon or equipment without permission by such that it retains its functionality will be flogged. Subsequent offences will result in the offender being incarcerated for a period of no less than three months following by, followed by flogging. Basically, <laughs> you get flogged for whatever happens. Yeah, that's... Poor Imperial Guardsman. Yeah. That is so cool. Yeah, it's one of those things that they don't... Uh, I, I feel like GW should put out more of like in-universe yeah, literature. because that's I, so rad. I, I really like those kind of things. No, that's, yeah. that's really cool. Really Another cool. book. The Imperial Infantryman's Uplifting Primer. <laughs> okay, let's get Once uplifted, again. Imperial citizens. The blue book is mostly part of the brown book, but has some vital information about the Tau, and is therefore also very handy. That will be good for death murdering... No death notice is the first thing <laughs> I turn to. That will be good for dealing with Matt's Tau. Yeah, no, This is cool. Yeah, I've, I've always wanted to read those, because they are just a, a really cool little keep thing. This pace, keep this place spare. Like, do not... Do not... Do not deface on pain of death. <laughs> That's how you know you're fighting for the good guys. <laughs> That's <is> amazing. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. 
Oh, Jesus, that's the... Oh, my God. The 25th anniversary yeah. model. The Beaky Boy. Oh, it's the Beaky Boy. Oh, my God. I want um, to print him out. Don't worry. The Grox Box contains a warrior who is dedicated to the 20th anniversary of Rogue Trader. I pre-ordered him as soon as he was available and decided to build and paint him as soon as my painting skills has improved. Which they haven't up until this point. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure your painting Dude, skills are I just fine. Amazing. Um, but I've seen with work on his orcs and I came to the conclusion that he could do it instead. Oh well, no, th thank you so much. That's, this isn't a, one of those models where I never thought I'd kind of see one, you know? Mm, yeah, um, I no. feel I feel kind of bad for opening up the cellophane to show it off. But yeah, oh. it's the, the one that's like the, um, get that out of the light. Um, it's the one that's a remake of the um, old Rogue Trader cover art. Um, so yeah, yeah, Beaky Boy holding an orc head and he's got like a weird power fist thing. Oh right, you know this is a fancy box. When I mean, it's magnetized. Because even the box is magnetized. Ooh. Made in the UK 2026. I'm pretty sure that's not what they mean. I think when maybe they, wrote they that mean on the 26 site. minutes past eight in the evening. <laughs> maybe. maybe. Well, oh yeah, I made it like nearly half past nearly half past eight last night. I'll, I'll, I won't take the actual individual pieces out because I don't want to lose any of them. Stop! Oh, that is a big base. That's like a dreadnought base. I will say because I. When this model came out, there was a lot of horror stories about it. So much so that I even did some... I even did a picture long ago mocking um, the errors in the fine cast um, things of this. Uh, which got some people very angry, which was quite funny. Um, but uh, but no, this one's actually seems pretty free of bubbles and stuff, so... That looks like it's pretty good, yeah. Yeah, no, that's... Ooh. I mean, even if it was, I could fix it and it'd be fine, but you know... Um... No, that's, that's that's really that's nice. Really rad. Oh, I can't wait to, to get him out and have a proper play with him. But yeah, yeah. I'm not going to take him out now because I'll just lose bits. What is this? Oh, bubblegum shrimp. That's cool. I must have drank me about 15 bubblegum <laughs> bubble shrimp. Um, where are we? Snipe oh, has her cockatoo to drink out of and Wib only has a skull, which is a bit impractical for streams and stuff. In order to get him a proper drinking device, the Grox box contains a red shaped can shaped item. I hope you get the quote on it and why I chose it. Yeah. If not, well, you have to watch Forrest Gump. Yeah, it's been ages since I've watched Forrest Gump, actually. What is in here? Um. Oh! <laughs> it's like, huh. This isn't a oh, drink. That's not a drink. What is that? Is that a squat? That is the white, uh, that is the white dwarf. Dwarf. Oh, the white dwarf. Dwarf. Oh, it's it's one where he's like done up like he's a tech priest. So he's he's like a proper <laughs> a proper squat. Oh, That's well, thank right. you. I'll, again, I'll try and get a, a close up picture of that mm. later, so you can kind of see. Um, but don't drink him. I won't drink him. Don't drink him. I won't accidentally drink. Oh no. Yeah, thank you. I, I didn't even know they made this model because I know they do the white dwarf ones periodically, but yeah. I've never really looked into them. If I'd have known they'd made like a tech free squat, then I... <laughs> <laughs> you gotta somehow squeeze them into your army now. Oh, oh, hey, it does say. Um, after watching the sixth anniversary video, I came to the conclusion that Snipes Dreadnought may have some technical issues. You know, all those ones. Yeah. Uh, I've managed to get hold of an old specialist. He travels in a, ra a red can shaped item and awaits assembly and painting. <laughs> Hope you like the little fella. So yeah, he's a he's a tech priest for you specifically. Oh, awesome! So there you go. He's gonna help Luca out a lot yeah. and stop those ones. Hopefully. <laughs> you don't you don't actually have an iron wolf. I don't know. So, so he's gonna be my iron, um, iron priest rather. Um, Whatever it is. I'm, I'm not good with space wolves. <sighs> I'm not either. <laughs> <laughs> As evidenced by the sixth anniversary video. My soul. <laughs> but yeah, no, he's beautiful. I love him. Thank you. And then there's these nondescript cardboard boxes. Mm. Cardboard boxes. I'm just going to open one. They can, Shall I? They contain um, items that you can drink off. Um, I remember you saying you have lots of mugs, but I don't care. Mugs are great. Mugs! This... <laughs> Mugs! A smaller box. Inside the big box, there was a smaller box, which inside that box, there was another box. I'm, I'm liking it already. It's just a mug. Oh! It's a Moogle mug! Oh, it's adorable. Oh, look at that cute boy. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you. Oh, oh. a chocobo mug. It's a chocobo. Oh. oh, that is amazing. Queer, queer chocobo. <laughs> Oh, I have so oh. many beautiful mugs now. Thank you. I'll just I'll just read the little sign off here. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I, I really hope you like this stuff. Apologies for all the mistakes and of spelling and writing that may have manifested in this letter. It's fine. You, because um, I know you're from from Germany. Uh, you speak 
Yeah, well, you can write English far better than I can, um, you know, write German, which is not at all. Yeah, so, so you're doing great. You're doing great. Um, greetings from Hanover, Germany. Uh, Konstantin, a.k.a. Inquisitor Grox, and his girlfriend, Lady Grox. Oh, oh. thank you, Grox and Lady Grox. Yes, thank you so much um, oh. for all of this stuff. Um, yeah, no, that was very lovely. Thank yes, you. thank you. <laughs> So that was another mailbag video. Uh, thank you very much to Ever So British, Cyborg, Jeremy, Grox, and Lady Grox. Um, you are very, very generous. Thank you so much for everything that you sent in. Yes, and thank you. As, as always, uh, we really, really appreciate like the little letters being sent yeah. as well. That's yeah. uh, it's always really nice to read them. But yeah, this is probably the second to last mailbag video that we'll do for a while at least because uh, the PO box is closing on the twenty third of November. Yeah, so or you, around then, it might be a few days. Yeah, towards the latter end of November. But like, make sure that if you do want to send something in, that it'll get there before like the twenty third at least. So yeah. just be aware so if you do want to send something in in the next month or so um send it to the address that is put on screen right now right here uh we're not doing that again okay but i'm not gonna move okay good good you're gonna keep it there because i'm not spending like 15 minutes animating it for a third time in a row okay there it is um so yeah and uh, i'll let it, it go because it's a strong boy and i believe in yeah, it yeah it can just fade away into the ether let it go. Let it go. <laughs> oh no <laughs> Well, yeah, thank you very much for watching, yes, and now I'm gonna go find a home for all my beautiful new mugs. <laughs> I think we might need to buy some new mug trees. I already have a lot. <laughs> <laughs>